Greetings, saints, in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the name that is above all names, the name that is able to heal, the name that is able to touch, and the name that is able to deliver. Today, I just want to share briefly from the book of Samuel. And I want us to read the book of Samuel, chapter number 17, the book of 1 Samuel. We are going to talk about David and Goliath today. And we are going to read the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17. We are going to read a few verses from this book of Samuel. And I want to base my message on the topic giants are meant to be defeated giants are meant to be defeated and when we read we are going to start reading from verse number four the bible says a champion named goliath who was from Gath, came out of the philistines the philistine camp he was over three meters tall I will repeat the verse. A champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. He was over three meters tall. And the Bible says when we read from verse 16, verse 16 says, For 40 days the Philistine came forward every morning and evening, took and took his stand. For 40 days, the Philistine came forward every morning and evening and took his stand. And when we read verse number um, 26, David asked the man standing near him, What will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and remove, removes this disgrace from Israel? Who is this? uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God. So briefly here the Bible talks about David and Goliath. The Bible says there was a man by the name Goliath and this man he was a giant. The Bible says he was a champion. The Philistines they regarded him as a giant and a champion and the Bible says this man Every day, he used to stand shouting and insulting the God of the Israelites. And the Bible says one day, David, he heard that there's a man by the name Goliath. And this man, he is insulting God. And the Bible says he was a young man. He was a shepherd. He was just a small boy. But after hearing that this man is busy insulting God. The Bible says one day he wanted to fight this giant. One day he wanted to face this giant. And the Bible says Saul, who was the king, he said to David, this man, he is a giant. He's a warrior. He used to fight big battles and he won. You are just a boy. You are not going to be able to fight this man. But the Bible says, David insisted, give me an opportunity. I want to fight this man. And the Bible says, eventually, they gave him the opportunity. And before he fought this man, he said, one day, I was busy shepherding the flock. And there was a lion that came from nowhere. And this lion, the aim of the lion was to defeat. It was to kill the sheep. But God gave me the strength. And as a young man, I managed to destroy and kill the lion. And he said, and again, one day, a bear came, wanted to kill the sheep. God gave me the strength. And I defeated the bear. Don't forget the title of my message. Giants are meant to be defeated. 
this morning or this day I don't know what you are facing right now some people right now they are concerned they are giants are one sickness others their giants are poverty they've tried a number of things for them to be able to be better but even today they are still struggling we are all facing giants we are all facing situations that are beyond our power but i want to emphasize this giants are meant to be defeated all that you need to know it is that if god is for you no one can stand against you the bible says he stood though he was a young man the bible says they regarded him as just a small boy but david stood and faced the giant david stood he faced this man who was regarded as a giant they say here he was a champion and the Bible says he came to the man he took his sling and he put five stones in his sling the Bible says because Goliath he was used in winning he thought I am going to defeat this young man like all people that I have defeated in life but he wasn't aware that if God is for you no one can be against you I don't care how small are you or how young are you if God is on your side no one can stand against you the Bible says David he attacked him and he killed him though he was a giant though he was a champion but David defeated him I'm here to tell you today the sickness that you are facing today through God you can defeat that sickness the, the, the challenge of poverty that you are facing through God you can overcome that challenge all that you need is to trust him the Bible says trust the Lord with all your heart and never rely on what you think you know the Bible says in everything you do remember the Lord and he will show you the right way giants are meant to be defeated it could be sickness it could be um, you losing the job it could be you losing the business whatever challenge that you are facing giants are meant to be defeated challenges are meant to change whatever that you are facing trust God he is able to change he is able to make things happen he is able to open doors and when he opens no one can close he is able to bring life in death he is able to bring life in death and light in dark because he is called to his able through him you can do all through him you can face any giant David he defeated the giant the giant that was regarded as a champion because God was with him God is with you fear not God is with you stand face whatever challenge that you are facing and through God you will overcome it could be after a day or two or a month but as long as you stand by faith you'll be able to overcome like David the Bible says God he gave him the strength and he defeated the giant whatever giant that you are facing stand by faith God is able to help you to overcome that giant remember giants are meant to be defeated trust God and know that through him you can do all as I'm about to pray I want to say to you I don't care how big is your Goliath but there is a God who is bigger than your Goliath I don't care how serious is your sickness there is a God who is bigger than your sickness and remember this in life when you talk about your Goliath more than your God you are making your Goliath to be bigger than your God if you talk much about your sickness you are making your sickness to be bigger than your God but as a servant of God I'm here to tell you that there is no giant that God cannot defeat giants are meant to be defeated but all that you need to do is to trust God as we are about to pray I pray as a servant of God that may God defeat 
every giant that you are facing. May God defeat any kind of a giant that you are facing. Sicknesses, you don't have a place to hide in this body. Sicknesses, diseases, be thou removed in this body. Sicknesses, diseases, be thou removed in this body. I pray that may God touch you and set you free. In your situation of losing a job, I pray today, may God open doors. During this period, during this time where people are concerned about their lives, I pray that may God defeat the giant of poverty. Poverty, you don't have a place to hide. Poverty, you are defeated. Poverty, you are defeated. In the name of Jesus, I pray today, in your business, may God help you to defeat the situation of you not getting money. I pray, I pray for favor, favor, favor. And I pray for doors to be opened does to be opened. I pray for financial breakthroughs. Financial breakthroughs. I pray for breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Giants are meant to be defeated. And through God, you can defeat any giant. Trust him, he's able.